The really good news about this topic, generational dynamics is easy to understand. It's based upon three simple truths. Truth number one, between the time that each of us in this theater and each of us in this country is born, and the time that we leave the full-time classroom and get fully into adulthood, usually in our early 20s, late teens, in that formative years window of our lives, you and I are going to mold most of the core values and core beliefs that we'll keep for life. Yeah, we'll change, yeah, we'll evolve, but those core values will remain largely intact. And the people about our age who share the same formative years, times, and teachings will end up sharing the same core values, and by sharing the same core values, we become a generation. And any time in American life there is a significant change and a widespread change in either the times or the teachings, or both, that young kids are going to absorb as they come of age, a new generation begins. Truth number two, and this is why the topic thankfully has become so hot, Life in America in the last century has changed so often. And when it has changed, it seems to have changed so sharply into new directions. And according to our Census Bureau, we are now living this year exactly 30 years longer on average in America than we did 100 years ago, that for the first time in American history, our life expectancy has room for five living generations each of whose formative years were a little different from the other four, and so each of whose core values are a little different from the other four. And truth number three that explains this whole generation's thing is what brings it right down to the bottom line of our day-to-day, minute-by-minute, month-by-month lives. Those unique core values that each generation forms in its unique formative years are now going to exert astonishing influence over that generation's consumer choices, career decisions, lifestyle preferences, personal relationships, and our own behavior.